Hey, it's Jamie. I've been using a Mac for a long time and on my quest to become more productive, I've found five apps which have made my life easier. All of these apps are free apart from Magnet and links and timestamps are down below. The first app is Magnet. The feature which I missed most when switching from a Windows laptop to a Mac was the window snapping. On Windows, you can simply drag your windows to the side of a screen and they automatically resize. However, this feature isn't on Mac OS and this is where Magnet comes in. Instead of manually resizing windows like this, which is fine but can get a bit tedious if I'm dealing with multiple apps. With Magnet, you can simply resize your windows very easily by dragging a window to the side of a screen like this. And you see, it's now full screen. And this is so fast and efficient. Let's say I want to go into split screen. Now, instead of having to do whatever split screen tiling thing here, which is a bit annoying, I simply just drag it to the side and it goes into half of the screen. Then I can open up another piece of software. Let's open up Firefox. You can see that split screening is so easy to do. There are a variety of different window arrangements with magnets. So you can shape your window to be half of the screen at the top, maybe a small section of a screen or a third of the screen. Magnet also has built-in functions if you found it a little bit difficult to snap the windows into place, like with what I was finding before. There are different shortcuts for all of the different window arrangements and I set some of those myself to meet my own needs. Like for example, instead of having to snap the windows, I can just press command left or command right to quickly split my screen. And I can also quickly maximize my screen by pressing command up and if I want to minimize it or make it a little bit smaller back to where it normally was, I can go command down, which is really useful. The next app is Alfred. Alfred's essentially spotlight search but on steroids. Let's say I wanted to open up Photoshop. Normally it would take a little bit of time so I'd have to go onto Launchpad and then find Photoshop and then open it. Let's say I want to open up some schoolwork on my IB folder, which I'm totally not procrastinating on. So I'll go on the IB folder and then let's look at my chemistry and let's open up a textbook. You see, it takes 5-10 seconds every single time when I want to search something up and access it. And it's not the most efficient in the world. When using your computer, it's important to be as efficient as possible from the time when you think of doing something and actually get it done. So that you can spend more time working instead of fumbling around trying to open up apps, documents and search things up. Which might take 5 or 10 seconds at a time, but add up over the workday. So this is where Alfred comes in. So to access Alfred, simply press command space bar and now search up whatever you want to search. So let's say I want to open up Photoshop. Now I click on that. That's it. It's very quick, simple and easy. Let's say I want to open up my IB folder. Instead of having to go into Finder, I simply press command space bar and then IB and done. And now I can look through whatever I want to access. And yes, you could do this with Spotlight, but it feels considerably faster with Alfred. Let's say I wanted to quickly search up MacBook Air on Amazon. Instead of having to go on my web browser and search it up, now I just go on Alfred and now Amazon, which is a command term, and then MacBook Air. And you see, I can search up MacBook Air on Amazon. Let's say I want to define the word computer. Now I just go on to Alfred and define computer. Enter and now I've got the definition. So Alfred makes interacting and using your computer incredibly fast and efficient, which really adds up over the day and is incredibly useful. The next app is Mackie. Mackie is a clipboard manager for Mac. Have you ever cut something, then copied it, only to realize that you lost the thing that you cut? That's where Mackie comes in and would be a real lifesaver. And with Mackie, you can copy multiple things without losing it. For example, say, let's say I want to copy this person's name, Jamie Hilliam. I don't know this dude, but I think I should sub to him. And let's copy his profile photo too, because he's so good looking. Great. Okay, now. Of course you can paste the last thing you copied with command V, however you will lose copying the name Jamie Hilliam. So this is where Mackie comes in. Simply access Mackie through pressing command, shift and C. And there you'll see a massive list of everything on my clipboard history, which is just amazing. And now to copy the name just press command 2, which is shown here. And it's just that simple. The next app is the cold turkey blocker. If you're like me, you might have planned a really productive day with lots of things to do, 
but somewhere down the line, you end up down a two hour long YouTube rabbit hole. That's where the Cold Turkey Blocker comes in. The Cold Turkey Blocker is a free website blocker app which helps you to stay focused. On Cold Turkey, you can make custom lists of websites which you want to block, or even block the entire internet. So the way that I use Cold Turkey is by having a block called the flow state. And on that block, I blocked all of the websites on the internet, and I have lots of website exceptions of websites which I'm allowed to use all of the time and do not count towards a block, such as educational websites, which I require. And you can also set up different ways of locking the block, such as using a timer or having to type in 15 seconds of random text, having a time range which the lock is blocked for, restarting your computer to remove the lock, and also having a password. I found that this was very beneficial to my productivity as my attention wouldn't be fragmented every couple of minutes to browse YouTube, go on Twitter, or read the news. And then I could get whatever I wanted to get done quicker. The beauty of cold turkey compared to website blocking extensions is how hard it is to circumvent. With website blocking extensions, of course you can just uninstall the extension if you really wanted to go on YouTube. However, with the cold turkey blocker, it's essentially impossible possible to circumvent, therefore you can't get distracted. By far my favourite app is Notion. Notion is a powerful and flexible workspace software which helps me to stay organised. It's free and it works on your phone, your laptop and your tablet and it syncs through the cloud. On Notion you can use it for various uses such as writing notes, organizing things, managing projects, and doing essentially anything you want to do. The world's really your oyster with Notion, and there are lots of built-in blocks which you can move around pages to build a workspace suited for you. Like for example, there are lots of basic blocks such as text, headings, tables, you can even create databases, you can add images, videos, audio, embedded PDFs, Google Drive, and you can also collaborate with other people. And Notion is a real game changer for my life as a student and content creator. I'd highly recommend checking out the Notion setups of Ali Abdal or the Common Medic, and I've drawn lots of inspiration from them. I'll quickly give you a tour of my Notion setup to show you how I use Notion. Please tell me down below if you want to see a separate whole video on this. Before, without Notion, I just wouldn't be organized. All of my thoughts and all of my notes would be spit out through Word files and random notes which is not good for organization. However, as you can see here, I can keep all of my documents and all of my work in a fairly organized manner. And as a student, I mainly use Notion for a little bit of note taking and key definitions and screenshots of textbooks. Furthermore, as a content creator, I use Notion to keep track of the production of my video so I can stay organized with inspiration and cool channels, thumbnail ideas, and also keep track of miscellaneous things such as assets and cool gear which I want to invest into. Then I've got a Kanban board with all the different projects which I'm working on and the projects which I've finished and then I've also done an ideas board. Also, I can keep my life pretty well organized where I can organize what books I'm reading, the music which I like or need to add to my Spotify, then I can organize new words which I'm learning, journals which I've been journaling every day for a year, uh, birthdays, thoughts, planners, other archives, and other things. And that concludes it for my five favorite Mac apps. If you liked this video, please comment, like, and subscribe, because I put a lot of effort into my videos and I'm procrastinating on studying right now, so it better be worth it. Please tell me down below any videos you'd like to see in the future, and I'll try to make some of them. And thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.